Welcome to Influencer, our series of conversations with the world's thought leaders, the people creating the trends that we're all talking about. He's a self-made success story who used his talent and sheer will to become one of the hottest young rappers on today's hip-hop scene. Big Sean was discovered in the hallway of a Detroit radio station by Kanye West. His debut album, Finally Famous, features his own playful laid-back style, as well as major artists such as West, Chris Brown, Rick Ross, and Wiz Khalifa. He has over 900,000 followers on Twitter, and he's in our studio today. Big Sean, welcome to the What's Trending Team. <laughs> you have all your yeah. fans here. Thanks so much for joining us. Man, thanks for having Appreciate me. Appreciate it. It's been a busy time for you. Yes. From your album to the VMA nomination. Yeah. You are trying hot. Trying to keep a G, man. It's trying to keep a player. I hear you. So what does it take <laughs> to break into hip hop these days? Um, well, I know for me, it just took being able to you set myself apart, you know, it's a million other new artists, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. a million new rappers. So, you know, one of the things Kanye really taught me was just, man, you just gotta be unique, set yourself apart, whether it's having your own ad libs, you know, whether you put a certain spin on your raps or whatever you do. So that's all I've always tried to do is just bring originality to it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Keep a player, keep a G. Yeah. Detroit players, you know how we do. Detroit, yeah, yeah I, I, I've been there for the auto show. Yeah. But that's basically it. But I'd love to fresh. get a tour from you. Yeah, it's tight, day. man. I can show you great parts of the city. There's so many just, you know, it's crazy because I lived in the hood, but I went to school when I was younger in like the super nice part. Hmm. So I got to see a lot of spectrums of Detroit that a lot of people never got to see. I kind of got to see. I would have like go to school and have best friends that were like Jewish, white, black, orange, yellow, green and go home and have like the most ghetto ass best friends ever. But it really taught me a lot. I felt like even for my music, I feel like I make music that caters to a lot of audiences. Like when you go to my shows, you mm -hmm. see, you know, white, black, Asian, everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you have perspective. And, you, and this is yeah. not just a beginning. This is the beginning for you. But mm -hmm. you've gone through a long journey to get Yeah, here. it take a long time. It took a long time to get get to the beginning, you know what I'm saying? And yes, it should always be a beginning, that's what I yeah, say. Yeah, you gotta enjoy the journey though, that's the... Now, yeah. you signed with Kanye's label, which is so awesome. How do you get someone like him to sign you? What do you do? Man, I know, right? He's like, <laughs> Kanye A lot of like, begging? No, but you had the no. talent. Well, yeah, it was crazy because I like got a chance to rap for him at a radio station. I've been doing a show at this radio station every Friday since I was 16, as soon as I got my car. And it was, I didn't work there, but it was a show where MCs would come battle each other, mm. battle rap, and whoever will win those battles would get the rap on air, like a verse. Yeah. So I did that for like a year straight and got a good relationship with the station. So one uh, year, he was promoting his album, and you know my homie called me and was like, yo, Kanye's at the radio station. Yo, man, if you go down there and rap for him, he'll sign you, bro. <laughs> I'm like, man, you sound dumb as hell, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> And then I thought about it for like 12 seconds and was like, man, that's a great idea. Like, what are you going to lose, right? Right. So I went down there, dropped everything I was doing. And since I've been doing that show, they let me write in. You know, I, I lied and said I left my phone backstage, like in the back offices. So they let me back. Went back there, met Kanye, got a chance to shake his hand, told him, you know, I'm an aspiring MC, man. I do this show here every Friday. Can I rap for you? What did and you rap? I wish I remembered. <laughs> The thing was, I was so nervous. Yeah, yeah. And it was like spurred in a moment. It was like freestyle mixed with stuff I had, mixed with just like that moment. And, you know, he told me I had 16 bars with just like one verse, and I ended up rapping for like 10 minutes straight. Wow. Gave him my CD. And, um, and here you are. Yeah, that was the initial contact. It took years after that. Yeah. But, you so know. what's the best advice he's given you? I know he's talked about originality and how important that is, but like yeah. from friend to friend, for, you know, someone who's seen you grow you can't wait on anybody hmm. and that's conflicted with me and him before it's been times where he's told me to like follow instructions and I'd be like man forget that like, or, the, gotta, or, he, or you're like waiting on him to do something you're like god yeah, why are yeah. you gonna do it and it's like in. so I'll do my thing and he'll be like man what the what are you doing but you know but that's one of the main lessons I learned from him directly and, and indirectly is to always follow your heart and mm -hmm. You know, you can't wait on anybody. Now, you're an early adopter to Twitter and all these social networks. Yeah. And what got you started there? I have no idea, man. Just, you have 800,000 followers. How did that happen? Uh, <laughs> lots of good know. tweets. Yeah, lots of good tweets, I guess. You know, <laughs> I guess the music is all right. But a lot, of, a lot of good tweets more so than the music. Are you surprised at all the responses? Like, what do you enjoy about it all? No, I love it. I love all the 
you know, from Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, I'm like into all that. It's a direct connection with the fans. It allows yeah, you to that, hustle without waiting. Yeah, it allows me, it's easy to promote, you know, it's like whenever you got to be somewhere, like for instance, I did an in-store in New York at, a, at the Adidas store mm -hmm. and like 6,000 people came cause just because I tweeted and like the commissioner of the NYPD came out and they like had to shut it down and they got fined a hundred thousand dollars and it was, no a, way. it was a real big deal yeah because they expected 200 people and it was like six thousand people like the whole block was just full of people like well, blocks yeah. it shows the power of a tweet and actually we saw that happen with obviously game machine gun kelly who you've performed with yeah you know, machine gun kelly yeah so yeah, what do you think about I'm tweets mean. that could go wrong and man. how do you deal with that man you gotta you gotta <laughs> understand the power that you have man those People following you, that's that many people. Like, you know, it's like 900,000 people following me, and it's like, those are 900,000 people, man. So if you tweet something out that sparks them, they're gonna, you know, react, act to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you just gotta understand how to do dumb stuff. Yeah, take responsibility also for yeah. your Twitter actions. You can do a little bit of dumb stuff, but. You should have fun. Well, you also have a weekly YouTube recap video. Mm -hmm. What got you started with that? Yeah, I've been falling off on it. I need to get back on it heavy, but <laughs> it's just a weekend recap. Just, you know, being interactive with the people, man. That's what they want to see, like mm -hmm. what you got going on. And, you know, it's just kind of like documenting my story. And you stream, you go live a lot. Yeah, you stream. I haven't been doing it as much lately. I've been, I've been slacking really on my You've been an online game. slacker, social yeah. networking slacker. I've been slacking a little bit lately. I can't even lie, man. But I'm going to pick it back up. Sometimes when you lay off of it a little bit and come back, it's even better. You need to detox sometimes. You need to detox sometimes. I've been getting a lot of stuff in order. You know, it takes I, a while to get stuff in oh, order. Oh, and you're also going to be on the road. So what can fans expect from the tour? Man, the Finally Famous tour is going to be fun as hell. I mean, <laughs> you know, just expect a good-ass show, man. I'm a, I'm a real... I don't know, I don't want to call myself a good performer, but I'm somebody who, I just give them the essence of me, man. Like, you really get to see, like, my heart when I perform. I just go hard. Thanks, Big Sean, for stopping by the Watch Trending studio. You can check out his new album, Finally Famous by Big Sean, out right now. And follow him on Twitter, at Big Sean. Make sure to check out MySpace.com slash YouKnowBigSean for songs, news, and updates. And while you're on MySpace, be sure to tune in to the live streaming hip-hop mega concert, Rock the Bells, on September 11th.